And you know the rain don't last forever And you know the storm won't always flow Hi, I'm Taja Savelle and uh, we're here today, we're in, we're in Harlem planting food, we're getting rid of hunger, and that's our goal. What we're doing is, you know, we plant food on unused land and we give it to hungry people. And uh, so our goal is to eradicate hunger. We want to be the first generation that just got rid of hunger, for once and for all. During World War II, they planted victory gardens. 20 million Americans planted victory gardens in this country. And uh, they grew 40% of the nation's produce supply. So when people say, you know, it can't be done, it's already been done. I just want to say how you know how honored I am that you know to even be considered by you know by urban farming and anything that I could do to help from here on out you know you guys just contact us and let us know in Atlanta or Detroit or Miami or California you know wherever Japan we go wherever with it you know what I'm saying. Wanna come see? The peppermint is like totally all the way over there. Like, come on, come on let's go. Let's We're gonna go. actually show you where it's at. It's so cool. It actually yeah. smells like the real thing. First, we had to do was we came over here and we got like this big, these big buckets of black stuff and like it's pulled it. Dark. Yeah. No, it was they called it something else. Compost. We have a community garden that's five blocks long in the North Bronx, and we uh, we're here to support urban farming. It's pretty much like a great diversity piece. We have like the Spanish, blacks, whites. Asian, and they're all coming together and they're playing in the garden. Uh, and 10% of the food will be donated to homeless shelters and food banks and uh, any families that need it around the surrounding communities. And all the food that you're all planting here today is when it's harvested, it's going to be given to the Westside Food Bank. We're in several cities across the uh, country and we're really happy that you could be part of this to eat healthy and eradicate hunger here in Los Angeles. It's an awesome opportunity for us because it's another project that we could work on and stuff. It sends out a good message. And when this thing, you know, literally from a seedling grew into something like this, and all of you to be out here like this is such a, a beautiful act of love. I mean, you can't have a, a better goal than this than urban farming. And for me to have just to be a small little part of this is joyous for me. I feel I was able to mobilize. Um, all of Atlantic Records, the Atlantic staff, and so many of the executives because the purity of the spirit of this mission was so clear. Thank you and thank all the partners. This is really a great thing for the city of St. Louis and we're happy to be working with you and looking forward to doing more stuff. Well, we're one of the many groups that have collaborated to bring this together, uh, along with the Healthy Youth Partnership, uh, some of the other organizations, the city of St. Louis. To me, the, the great thing about it is, in many ways, we've started to become alienated from our ground, from our soil, yeah. Yeah. and to reconnect people, uh, it helps us take more responsibility and have a greater love uh, for where we are. So we need to grow food in our urban areas, and that's why urbanfarming.org is a great group, and I'll work with them the rest of my days. Now we have the equivalent of, of uh, over 800 gardens across the country and abroad, so we're, we're, we're all over, but we're turning uh, Motown into Growth Town. Good for you! <laughs> good for you! Oh, good, all right. Well, that's it. Seriously, I want you to come to my house and do this. I, I will absolutely. I would have planted them right next to each other. Good love. Give it love. That's it. It's that easy. It's that easy. And we'll see whose plant grows better, because I tucked mine in a little tighter. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> They're growing like crazy, and this is uh, this is just taken last week, and we have all kinds of vegetables that we go out, we have herbs, and we cut from the garden all the time, and it's growing like crazy. They come out their homes, hey, those doing? that will, and just ride and look, and we talk more. We starting to communicate. Good. We starting to communicate. Good. That's, really That's good. That's the number one thing. We're gonna go give it to like the poor and like we're gonna feed people to stop hunger and we're gonna like make people more healthier and then and like then uh, the whole world would be just a great place to live. We wanna just survive while we fight.